Hey, um, so what I have here is a piece of code that um, I was able to get from by researching online while learning how to program in PHP. Um, this is the um, WAMP server that I had installed. Um, and it has the PHP um, MySQL. What I did was I incorporated the same MySQL from the WAMP server um, with the MySQL workbench. So basically this instance right here for MySQL is the um, new database from the WAMP server. So that has the same database, same tables as from before. This is the address tab as usual. So regarding the query that I came up with, um, this is the query. This basically checks um, from the address tab having a distance of maybe 25 miles. Anything that is like taco. So it doesn't have to be taco diner. Anything that any restaurant that names with has a name taco in it and it um, displays about 20 of them. So that's the query. So in my database, when I run this query against the values that I have, um, as you see, it takes some time. So more and more the data is going to be, the slower it's going to run. Um, so you, we have four taco diners right here in Dallas, but that's dependent on the data that we have in the address table. And this query basically touches our database. So the data that it's getting out right here is from this basic address table. Let me run that again. So these are the four taco diners that are in our database right here. And this is the latitude and the longitude and how much distance they are separated from the 33 by minus 97. And in our situation, if a user checks in from 33 and minus 97, he will have four taco diners to visit. Now going back to the PHP code, this is the code. So basically here I'm parsing, um, I'm creating a new object for um, creating a result set and uh, getting a connection from MySQL DB. That we have yumbi is the name of the database and i'm giving the query over here which is gonna get the result set and from the result set i'm loading up the xml we can use dom too but i'm just going to use echo for now that's the php part of it and um, the php they're stored in this directory right here so one dot php and then there's one dot HTML. Um, and the one dot HTML basically runs as the HTML code and it creates a new map. And it also has the images in it. So we can move these images and load our YumbleB logo. It's going to create a new element and these are several functions that came with the code that had researched. Now it took me some time to uh, get this code together and it will search for locations and these are the separate functions that it uses. And then uh, in the actual HTML part it has 2500 and 200 miles so it can go up to that extent. Now let's go ahead and run the actual 
1HTML dot 1.html the 1.html so when the user logs in this is how his screen will be um, say if I'm looking for something like taco which was my query that I put um, and search for it and here you see Taco Bells in Irving, I mean Taco Diner in Irving, uh, there's one in Addison, and there's one in uh, Uptown, and one by the Highland Parks. So basically this data that it got is from our database, and if we can get a poll, we can display the rating right here. So that's all I wanted to show you guys. And it's getting more and more complicated, but here on out we should um, get together and discuss and move ahead on what's going to happen. All right, that's what I wanted to show.